tell the difference. Uh, that's interesting. Fish Bay 4 is like. Did he Fish Bay 4 is a blunder. It looks very nice. Night before or No, Night Before is also a blunder. <laughs> we couldn't figure it out. I think I'm it, showed, it showed you're winning. Oh. But Night Before is equal and Fish Bay 4 is equal. It's very strange. Yeah, I have no idea. Ah, but it's true, you lose in two minutes. Yeah, so last saw in two minutes. I mean, I went from my boat, maybe after five minutes, I saw it was well cleaned. No, I found a new way to draw against Berlin. It's never been played before by humans. What up, yo? Yo, yo, yo. Here, baby, what's up? You get the guns, man? There we go. You probably go. can't even get it all in the lens. My goodness. Just, they're too big. That's crazy. They're Christian. way too big. I'm saying C Square Podcast. Make sure y'all subscribe. <laughs> you already know, baby. We here. We here. We in here. Absolutely. Welcome to the show, man. You just got here yesterday. Thanks. Tell us a bit about uh, your first day. Yeah, my first day was good. Uh, I was greeted in the hotel lobby with a container of beef noodle. It was incredible. Okay. Shout out to the uh, to the hotel here, <laughs> and uh, all the players are very nice and they're very motivated and they're ready to go. And uh, I'm having a great time. Excellent. Excellent. Now let me eat. Rook before rook eight, rook b two. I'm rook a one rook b two. It's tempting, right? Yeah, and then the rook comes to d three, or go to f six. Why not? Because the rook is coming to d three next. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, put that back. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Ah! Is Rook H1 nice? Rook H2 says King B5, King B3. But he was probably drawing before us. He also has like two seconds. Rook E6, King B5. And then I think he played King E3. Rook H1? Yeah, I'm saying this is where I last saw him. Oh, congratulations, Ben. It's a good event. I mean, like 15 points. Yeah. Can you get ready here? Yeah, of course. I lost like 20 points. Yeah. <laughs> You're nothing 20? Like 17 or something. But we guess what's your. What? But I only really won one again. <laughs> ah, any kind of gaming? <laughs> But still very hard. You could have played Rook, play rook H3, right? Oh, yeah. so you don't know their thought. Just put the Rook on G3. Oh, yeah. Maybe. You don't know their thought yet. We already no, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah. black pieces are so bad. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Wait, Bishop E8? Rook H8? Yeah, the bishop is terrible. And White's playing for a win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think so. No, probably not, because this is not a bishop. But maybe... No, we're working nice by ourselves. I even had a pun. No, in, in Paris, you won work night, and then in St. Louis. Belgium. Then he's gonna I don't remember the St. Louis one. No, St. Louis was this year, the American Cup. The American Cup. Ah, we're right. I even had a pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like with this king, doesn't matter. So no, no, we're uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Why we're at your first? Ah, because no, we're going on C4. Yeah. No, we're going to work before you. Yeah, we're going to go work at you. I think the most confident player I saw in this was Jan. Jan yeah. was the most confident. With the bishop? Or, I mean, with the rook? <laughs> <laughs> no, with the rook. Like, I had like 30 seconds. He, was, he basically didn't. Sit. We've talked about the matches. If you're just tuning in, this is official. The survival stage is set. Fabiano Caruana will take on Notre Dame Abusaturov. Um, Panello. <laughs> P A N E L O. P A N E L O. Um, okay. What's Panello? Like, it's not Swedish, but uh, it's. Maybe it's, it is. I mean, they also sometimes use some weird words for their furniture. Um, still feel like I'll go with chess player for this one. That's correct.
day four. The uh, semis are about to start. Big, big matchup. Fabi versus Magnus. It's going to be two matches today and tomorrow. Uh, four games apiece. Best out of four. The first one to get the two and a half points. If it's 2 2, then we're going to go to Armageddon. So exciting two matches. Ready for this. I have a good feeling about it. I think Fabi's going to take this one. Obviously, it's going to be a very, very difficult matchup. He lost against Magnus uh, during the uh, regular season, if you might call it that way. But I know revenge is definitely on his mind. So, looking forward to see how the games are going to shape up. I'll be half for breakfast this morning. Yeah, I'm I'm you you know, Why did you look fat? Uh, okay. Omelette and uh, scrambled eggs, bacon, just very regular stuff. Omelette, scrambled eggs and bacon? Something like that, yeah. But the fun part is that he orders tea and coffee. Tea and, tea and, and coffee. coffee. Okay, that's interesting. There you go. For this is like a little thing that's I do have to remember, Magnus does have a tendency to play some provocative chess, and in his match against Fabiano, which was in the round robin stage, Magnus won that match, not in the Armageddon. So he won that match in game two when he played with the black pieces, played an offbeat opening, got a very provocative position. Hi, do you mind giving a few words for your match? You don't have to. Um, sure, let me just put this in the box. And okay. Do you need me to keep that? Can you just put it on the floor or hold on to it? Yeah. Anyway. Ready for this? Yeah, it's always good to have two drinks. Mm -hmm. hmm. So what do you have? This is grapefruit juice and tea. Uh, okay, so what's the what's the purpose of having two drinks? Except holding both hands on by it. Well that's one that's important I think. But the other thing is that uh, we don't always get choices in life, so when we do have a, a choice to have two things instead of one, we should definitely not squander that opportunity. Grab it with both hands. Yeah, it works. Take, take your, so to say, take your chances. Okay, all right, I like it. This guy knows jujitsu. I do, yeah. I did practice for like six and a half, seven years. He's also a yeah. brown belt. Oh, yeah. Serious. We're just about to start uh, day four, the semifinals. Magnus versus Fabi. First match. Very exciting stuff. Just about to begin. There's, there's Wesley right there. He's going to be playing against Nodirbek, Fabi Satorov. So that's an exciting matchup as well. Anyway. We're just about to get going. That's vaccine. Yes. What you doing? Like generic mainstream content where we do something like, how many beers would it take for you to drink to like beat me in a game? Uh, in reverse, you don't need to. Nah. Yeah. Um, I played a game with Fabiano. Your love? Title player or IKEA furniture. Yeah, yeah. Just like goofy yeah. fun prompts like that. Um, have some others like rate yourself on the thing as a chess player. Is he winning? Black Rose and Dragon on the second round. Oh, oh. oh. Is okay. I feel like it's. Wow. I mean. Grace is six. Ah, because you went to be four and then be eight now. <laughs> What? Oh, it's a oh, check. Oh, it's a check. Oh, yes. Oh, I said it. Oh, we did say that. Oh, it's just... But I mean, even with C6, it's with you, there's much more complicated. Yeah, you have C6, he resigns, right? Yeah. So, it's over. Six. Six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Bobby obviously needs to forget it and focus now, but the energy in the room was insane. And then just like, what did we just watch with both those guys, Wesley and Magnus, winning games they had no business winning? Uh, I'm saying in Norwegian here, you, you feel pretty much every role and also a friend with Fabiano, but you feel every other role in his chess life as well. Yes, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> Let's say for this one, I'm not one of his uh, coaches, 
seconds or however you want to call it. We're just doing some uh, content for our uh, YouTube channel and you know following him around. It's rapid and blitz. There's not that much time to prepare anyway. So you know I'm just I'm just a friend for this one. But, but, but how much does it hurt? Is you know him better than anyone probably. How much how much is he affected by the kind of end game we saw last time for getting back in the match now? Yeah, that's part of uh, being a professional chess player and uh, the best ones can deal with that sort of defeat and uh, bounce back stronger and I think this is exactly, obviously it's difficult, it's not easy for anybody and I'm sure for Magnus it's not easy whenever he loses this type of uh, matches but to be so close for, uh, from a victory and uh, unfortunately not be able to convert those final moments, I mean that's painful. Painful, but what I'm looking forward to is not going to be painful. Is the content you guys are creating? Actually, I'm going to have you come in here so we can see with the camera. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, because right now, so blir det filmet alt sammen. Vi har en til, fordi dette er jo også podcastmaterial. And then maybe if it's one of the matches, Do you do this? Do you put milk in your milk? I know a you lot should, of right? weird people do this. But also, I have a feeling so that I'm acknowledging it that it's weird, but also that a lot of people do it. Okay, it's not the okay. worst thing he does. But then oh, yeah? you, you don't drink tea, right? I don't believe in tea. He puts ketchup. It's, it's on gross pizza. water, well, but not on caffeine. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Because he puts ketchup on what? Pizza. Yeah, you're supposed to put ketchup on pizza. Well, it's the gay is banned from yeah. Italia for life, I guess. <laughs> no, no, in, in, in so Italy, hard. I don't ask them for ketchup. They, ah. so they, they kick me out. I, I know my limits. Oh my I know my limits. They kick me out if I do that. They're doing it all tomorrow. What else can you tell us about him? Let's make this a behind the scenes yeah, Christian yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is probably went on our blog, so. It's just weird, dude. Everybody puts ketchup. In Romania. Oh, look. I'll tell you the backstory. <laughs> so, pizza in Romania generally doesn't have any ingredients on it. It's just bread. It's just the bread. <laughs> so, it's all pizza. That's how I grew up. And okay. then we, we just put like some sausage and some ketchup, and that's it. So, it's it's not, pizza, so basically it's not pizza. pizza. Dog, yeah. It's basically just like bread that looks yeah. like pizza. And it's called pizza. It's a pizza dog, yeah? It's, yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like our, our hoodie, by the way? Nice. Let me feel it. Nice. No, this is more like, like a resistance. I like it kind of fitted, but kind of nice. I like it. I would wear it. Right. I like we need it. to talk about our clan. We do. We have eight members, and if we get two more, we can actually participate in clan wars. So, how many people are you going to let in who we don't know? Because it creeps me out sometimes. When we don't know enough people to actually have a competitive clan. That's true. We, we, I guess I should just allow it. We should get Levy in. So what's the point of this game? And the the point of some, this game? Uh, yeah. this, is, this is like... I know someone who is very good at this game. I've never played this game. You know Fabiano Caruana. You know that no. he's like legitimately very good now. But I also know someone who is legitimately very good who played uh, international tournament. No, it's not I'm not, I'm not close to this. Who is not Fabiano Caruana. Who is like... Basically, oh, no, no, no. if you are to no, compare in terms of rating, it would be GM simply. Okay. <laughs> Here with Fabiano Corona. That's two in a row. You take the lead here, Fabi. What was that like? Oh, what happened? What's really wrong? Winning this position, but can't leave the job. Where was no. I saw you punch the pillow. Yeah. Violence is never the solution. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Thank you, Tanya. Yes, I'm standing here alongside Christian Kirill, Grandmaster, one half of the world famous, soon to be award winning C Square podcast chess coach, uh, director of chess programs, Christian Moore. Very good, very good. Great to be here with you. Gotham Chess, Levy, how should I call you? Gotham, you can call me Henry. Where's it? Wednesday night.
Yeah. You guys are looking oh, like you're on a date. Oh, yeah. Very romantic, I <laughs> uh, Tear me up when I lose. <laughs> Were you also the first one to adopt me? And adopt a Danny? Yeah, I think it was my But I think you were my first daddy. And then, <laughs> and then he's also adopted me. And then so did you. Yeah. But Sicilian, it was a con Sicilian, it was complicated, everybody sitting out there looking at all the tactical possibilities. Do you have to make a conscious effort to play a Sicilian or an E45 versus the opponent? Or, I mean, are we overanalyzing as commentators? I think it was more about my moods. Um, I didn't want to get back in sort of a defensive mindset, so I was trying to treat it more like... For the crew, for Levy, for Canty, for everyone crushing it, working super hard. There's a lot of people here bringing this thing to you. Everybody in Oslo, we love you. We know it's late. Hope you're going to enjoy your evening. The first day of the semifinals here at the 2023 Champions Chess Tour Finals is in the books. We're going to take a very, very quick break tonight, but we'll see you bright and early for the second day of the semis here from Toronto.